So this video is for all of you gamers out there that already have a PS5 and you don't want to bother with a Fire Stick or an Nvidia Shield. Going out and purchasing a dedicated streaming device just to watch a few free shows and movies on your TV isn't really worth it when you already have a PlayStation 5. Now a lot of users don't know there's actually a few completely free streaming options available on your PS5 that's going to allow you to watch free shows free movies and live TV in like 10 seconds. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and drop your comment down below on what streaming app you would like to see available on the PS5. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Now, most of you are probably already aware that you can go to the top here and go to the media section in the top right. And there is a ton of paid applications. You have your Disney Plus, you have your Netflix, you have your Prime Video, you even have your Apple TV. So there is no scarcity of TV show and movie apps that you can pay for. But on this channel, we're not about paying for that shit, you know, unless it's worth it. In that case, maybe. Now, depending on what country you're in, the free apps you have available on your PS5 could completely change. So if you're in the United States, you probably have some slightly different ones than me. And if you were in the UK, you might even have some different ones from the US. But here in Canada and in the United States and the United Kingdoms, you will almost guaranteed have these two streaming apps. So let's start with option number one. You're gonna to wanna to go to the all apps section. Now this is every single app that's not a game you can download on your PS5. Now I am a little disappointed in Sony. They really don't give you a ton of options, but like I said, there are a few we can actually access and utilize in order to get some of this free content. Now, when you go into all apps, you're gonna see a number of apps. Some of them you're not gonna understand what they are like Funimation, which looks really dumb. It's like anime, but overpriced and does not look like it's worth it. But you're gonna see a few here. Now the first one is called Plex. Plex originally was more of a server where people could upload their own media and watch it anywhere on any device. However, Plex also has Plex TV and that's what's available on your PS5. So if we go ahead and open up Plex here, you can install it right here on this main menu. We're just gonna click this start function now that Plex is booted up, I wanna show you a few of the streaming options and show you around the app a little bit. So the first section you're gonna see on this left-hand scrolling bar is live TV. And Plex actually has a pretty good catalog of live TV channels. Now, a lot of these are free over-the-air channels that are available for most services to use as long as you offer them for free. But a lot of these cable companies sell for you in packages just to load those packages up. But in this case, all of them can be completely available on your PS5 for free. Now, these are, sh these are TV shows, these are movies, these are live channels that can just be thrown on while you're cleaning. Maybe you have a chill night. They got some Jerry Springer, they got some Judge Judy, they got some game shows. They have some Mission Impossible stuff, some food stuff. They got cops on here, right? Judge Faith, I don't even know who that is, but I don't wanna know law and crime. So there is actually a large selection of channels. It's well over a hundred and they have continued to improve their library. Now, most people don't watch live TV anymore. Instead, you want shows and movies. So there is a movies and TV show tab right here. Now we can go to the top and we can completely categorize it by action, animation, comedy, and that will go ahead and filter it for us. Now there is a lot of old content on here, but there's actually a lot of new and up-to-date stuff as well. And you can scroll through and decide what you wanna look at. If you're watching something with the kids, maybe you want animation. If you're watching action, they got a pretty good selection of action. Now compared to the next app we're looking at, this movie and TV show selection is not great, right? This is not anywhere close to what we want. But when we get to the next app, you're gonna see some really great quality stuff and even some newer TV shows and movies in the recent years. But there's a lot here to be had and there's a lot to look at. So I, I have always suggested Plex TV for those of you that want to cut the cable because it's a free option. At the end of the day, we want free options and we want free legal options if and when possible because it avoids all that other BS in between. So lots of shows and movies to look at from Plex TV. Now, of course, you can sign in. You, we can do a lot more with this when we sign in and actually do stuff. But uh, for now, this is pretty much all you need to know from Plex TV. 
You can use the discover option and this just helps you find new stuff, um, that you, new movie options that you might want to look at. These are not necessarily available on Plex TV though. So make sure you keep that in mind. It's kind of like recommending shows and movies that have come out that you want to watch. Now, going back to our all app section, there's one more app that I like to call the free Netflix of TV shows and movie apps, and that is Plex TV. So again, this can be completely installed from that all app section. We can go to the start function here because I already have it installed. Now, Plex TV is an all-in-one app that pays for itself via ads. So yes, you have to watch a few ads, either before or after the show and movie or in between, but it's honestly not much. You don't even have to sign up for an account if you don't want to. We can continue as a guest and watch everything completely for free. Now, they genuinely have brand new shows and movies. They have uh, shows and movies that just came out last year. Batman vs. Superman, right? Terrifier, One Punch Man, uh, Hell's Kitchen, which is available on everything. But they have John Wick. So they actually get good shows and movies on here. John Wick 2. So there is high class titles you can watch directly. Oh my God, Green Lantern, the one show or movie that never should have been made. Now we can scroll through here and look at stuff forever. But I do want to point out if you're in the US, Tubi TV also has a live TV section. So Tubi does offer live TV, but that's only for the US and I think the UK. So we're going to look into how to use a VPN on our PS5 in the near future. One function on Tubi TV I want to show you that's very, very uh, unique to it is the kids section. So they have a dedicated Tubi Kids where you can go inside of it and this is all kids TV shows and movies. So that way you don't have to watch what your kids are watching, right? Everything in here is appropriately rated for kids and it makes it easy to kind of lock things up for them so they can just enjoy this. And this is a way of, instead of getting Netflix, you just have this available for your kids. And to be honest, as a five-year-old, know the difference. The original Tubi TV, they do have categories as well. So you can easily filter through and find a category of TV show and movie that you want to watch. And they truly do have a little bit of everything for everybody, everything from Westerns to action to everything else. Now, if you go to networks, these are specific networks they partner with. FilmRise has their own dedicated app, but you can watch most of their content directly on Tubi. It's kind of like how Prime Video has all these different channel add-ons now that you can get at any time that none of us ever want to purchase. So that's really everything for today's video, guys. If you want to learn how to get even more free TV shows and movies and other apps like this, on your PS5 and on your Xbox and stuff like that, make sure you subscribe down below so I can create more video content just like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.